And late today, the English Ice Hockey Association, which is the league that Johnson played in, announced that starting next year, players will be required to wear a neck guard. And as Jennifer Hoff found out, they're not the only ones with safety on the mind. Where there is hockey, there is risk, but ask some parents and it's preventable. I'm no stranger to spending a little extra money to make sure he doesn't get a concussion in football. I do the same thing so he doesn't get his neck sliced open in hockey. A unique danger, but one that's happened before, triggering calls to make neck guards mandatory. Kevlar. Yep, all Kevlar reinforced, yes. Scott Beck distributes these guards to local retailers, now nearly sold out since professional player Adam Johnson died Saturday after a skate blade cut his neck. It's an intense game. In, anything can happen in the game, but a simple, simple shirt like this could help prevent that issue from happening. The guards are not required in youth hockey or the NHL. Players rarely wearing them, sometimes for simply being too uncomfortable. The biggest issue and complaint that you're going to get from this is that it's bulky and it's thick. Beck saying the design, though, is becoming more desirable. This shirt is going to have literally zero restrictions. So I think as people start seeing uh, this new product and as it gets more comfortable, I think it probably will be mandatory. Warroad High School star turned pro TJ Oshie founded a hockey clothing collection that includes wrist, forearm and ankle guards, releasing a neck one just last month after he says a boy died from a similar injury. My motivation was for the youth. You know, I think one death is one too many. I found this to be interesting too. Oh, she tells me he doesn't wear a neck guard, but since Johnson's death, he says he ordered his own product, in fact, for himself. He even got some for his teammates, agreeing to try it out in practice in just a couple days on Wednesday uh, ahead of his game, then the next day on Thursday, saying that he wants to be alive to see his four children grow up.